Splitting faces. The split face tool is used to split a face of a wall or a column, for example. Uh, and it's it only splits the face of the wall. It doesn't make it into separate elements. And we use this for applying different materials to the face of the wall. And uh, so we can apply uh, materials later on. To do this, we're going to go into our Modify tab. Then we're going to go over to our Geometry panel. In our Geometry panel in the upper right, we have our Splitting Faces. So if I go to Splitting Faces, Now it's a select the face to split into regions. So I'll pick on this face. And now it kicks me into um, a draw mode. And I'm right now drawing with a line. And I could draw with a line, but I'm going to go over here and draw with a rectangle. It's a little bit easier than drawing with a line. I'll pick a corner of the rectangle. And I'll go over and I'll say, ah, we're going to make a we're gonna make a panel like this. And so uh, I'll go 12 feet by four feet, and I pick, and now it's created a, when I'm done, I have to come over here and finish the edit mode. This is important, it won't work unless you come over and do the finish edit mode. And now, it does. I can't see through it because this is just the surface of this particular element that is now split. Now I can apply a different material, so one could be perhaps brick, and one could be fabric. Um, you know, one could be brick, one could be wood, stuff like that. So splitting faces is is done in the modify tab over here in geometry, and so that we split a face of an element, and then that allows us then to apply different materials, but it does not change the the element structure. It's still a wall and it's not cut all the way through.